Today, let's put this building in my sketchbook. I'll start out with just the sky and slowly move my way down into the building and let the rooftop blend into the sky and then just put some warm tones on the face of the building that, you know, will either stand out in the shadow areas or, you know, will just be underpaintings for the warm areas. And then here I'm gonna paint around this fence cause I'm gonna keep that pure white and just try to keep in mind any of the other highlights that I wanna keep pure white to paint around them as well. Here I'm just putting in some quinacridone burnt orange, I do believe, uh, for some rusty tones that, you know, will stand out for the rusty side paneling and this awning above the windows. Now these darker tones that I'm putting in over here are not going to be the final cool shadow layer. I will do one more wash over top of it. And then yes, as you can see, still keeping in mind this pure white highlight fence that I want to paint around. Here, you could consider me moving on to the second wash. I will be putting in some more mid values and defining features on the long side of the building, as well as maybe a couple of more features in the shadow side, um, using a lot of uh, burnt oranges, burnt siennas, uh, for a rusty orange look on top of this cerulean and blue-green building. Thank you. 
Zoom, safety first. I really didn't like this other yellow street marker I tried to paint, so let's cover it with water and pretend it didn't happen. Some of the stuff I'm painting on this side of the building will get washed out by the shadow tone I end up painting over top. And then right here, I'm just painting that little wall ledge thing at the base of the fence. And then here I'm coming in with a mix of Thalo Blue Red Shade Neutral Tint and Burt Sienna to give still a warm pavement look, but pavement in shadow. Alrighty, and then here I will be moving on to the darkest tones, maybe my third and final wash, but basically putting in the deep shadows, all the dark defining features, and then after that I will go in and do some dry brushing to bring out some additional features.
And then here I just thought the back of the building looked a little bit flat where it met the pavement. So I kind of want to just put some random, you know, features in there, some random dark spots just to break up the straight line as well as the uh, side of the building that is in shadow. You can clearly see that, you know, it is in shadow here, but I still think that, you know, there there's some dark features that can be added that would really bring out some of the details. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do here with these extra dark tones I am putting in. This is a semi-spontaneous sketch. Obviously, I had selected the reference image knowing it was something I wanted to paint, but I didn't necessarily sit down and plan out my washes and layers and everything. So that's why I'm kind of all over the place with these dark tones. Um, I still have, yes, you can see I'm painting the building in the background here now and some of the dark tones to kind of bring the building more to the foreground. I'm just putting in a couple more of these dark features uh, in the shadows as well as gonna put another wash on this building to the right make that a little bit darker kind of push the building a little bit closer to us the main building that is And you can see here I'm painting in the telephone poles and lines. Now I took my cues from the reference image, but when it comes to some of the lines, I, you know, made up myself and kind of just sporadically put them in there just for some variety in the background. Thank you. 
Now here you can see I wasn't exactly happy with how the telephone lines came out so I used my spray bottle to kind of soften it and I just think it makes it look better when your, your wires in the sky on some ends kind of blend out. That's just a personal feeling of mine. I'm not saying that's the correct way to do it. Alrighty, here we are with the dry brushing and some of the finalized details. Thank you to anyone who made it this far in the video. Comment down below future video ideas you would like to see me make. Um, I will be uploading as frequently as I can. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. So hopefully I will see everyone in the next video. And you guys keep on creating and have a beautiful day.